Alright, welcome back to Andy's Bike Shop. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to replace this drivetrain. So I'm just putting this wheel into the WH1 by Park Tool. And you're going to clamp that down. This is what I'm going to use to get the cassette off. So you'll see that this is a very worn out cassette. It was moving and it is not supposed to do that. So we're gonna, good thing we're replacing it. We're just gonna use a little muck off chain degreaser here and clean off all that gunk on there. Everything's off the wheel, you might as well do it. That's, that's what we do every time. So we're going to use the HD 409 speed cassette here and you're not going to want to take that little uh, piece off up front but you want to line this little spline up here. There's a big spline and a little spline and you're going to line those up and the, the cassette should just slide right on as long as you leave that little piece on and now you can take that off and it drops your lock ring right down in there. Super easy to install. Then I usually put some grease on this just because uh, you don't want anything to, it, it creates a barrier from anything else getting in there really. And then you're going to want to lock that down really nice and tight, and this is what it sounds like. And then you're good. Nice and shiny, clean cassette. Now we're going to go take off this chain here. So I'm using the uh, MLP1s by Park Tool, and you're going to, this is the Master Link plier, obviously. Uh, and you're just going to take this and Pop that in there and then that chain should come right apart just like that. Now we're going to take the chain out of the bike and put it on the uh, bench so we can measure it. So what I'm showing you here is this is a, a guard for this derailleur, it doesn't allow stuff to go through there. Well, they routed this chain th under there and it created a path and was basically rubbing the whole time. So that is not something that you wanna do. Now, for these chains, you're just gonna line these up link for link because we are using two power link chains so you can cut them to the same length and you're just gonna wanna line those ends up like that and then you cut it right there. Now you can install these on there before you um, put this on or you can do it after, it's personal preference. So now you just feed this through and then connect these links and then we'll show you how to pry them open or pry them to close the, uh, the power link here. Now it's pretty hard, you're gonna wanna use two hands so this is what it looks like. And then you see me sh set the camera down here and pull just like that. Now it pops in. Pretty simple. Now we're going to put the wheel back in and check and make sure everything's shifting okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the factory lubricant off of this chain because honestly it sucks. So I usually take this off of every single chain that I do and I just use the muck off bio chain degreaser again. And then I'm going to put, probably on this bike, I'm going to put uh, wet lube just because it's, it's that time of season and we dry lube will just come off way too quick. So then I like to clean the derailleur and everything and help, help make it look pretty and everything so that's what I'm doing here so 
So now you can see that this is a nice shiny new drivetrain and everything is working correctly. Now we're going to put some lubricant on it here. So to lubricate this we're just going to use some muck off dry lube. It's going to keep the dirt away and I'm going to apply this pretty generously and then wipe off all the excess. So that's all to for today. Have a great day everyone. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page and Instagram and you'll see much more of these videos coming out as we move along. Have a good one guys. Thanks.